So guys, when you're recording your video, make sure you do the video in a nice, concise manner. The length of time in a video isn't hugely important, but people switch off and don't engage um, after a certain period of time, unless you're a you know, super engaged speaker or you're showcasing a lot of good stuff. Anyway, you've recorded your video and you're going to go and upload said video to YouTube. So I'm just going to upload YouTube um, and I want to talk you through some of the basic steps when uploading the video. Now, title is of course very similar to a title tag um, when you're trying to rank your website. So make sure you utilize your title the best you possibly can. Now, I use a plugin um, here called vidIQ, which gives me suggestions in terms of what I can use. Now, I could use boost your YouTube ranking with SEO, whatever. Call it something that people are likely to search for is the first step. Secondly, um, your description. Now, when it comes to putting that stuff on there, I am... I'm going to go against what, what, what I'm going to advise you. Um, purely because I've got a sponsor, I try and promote the sponsor using the description. One thing I would highly emphasize, guys, is do not have a link in your description on a YouTube video because it will compress the audience that YouTube show that video to because you are trying to lead people off the YouTube platform. So make sure that you just have something in the description. The real reality is no one clicks in these fucking links anyway. They watch your video. A lot of people don't bother uh, with the description. But of course, the description, you can use AI, um, chat GPT, whatever you want to fill out your YouTube description. Try and make it unique. Try and make it about what the video is about. Just it gives you an opportunity to put your keywords and whatnot in there. So make sure that your description is um, set up. Now, you've got all of these kind of other things where you can moderate comments and all that kind of stuff um, and, and, you know, show how many viewers like this video. You can switch certain things. Off. I'll let you go through those steps. Next, monetization. Choose how you want to earn money from the video. Do I want to earn it? Yes or no? Um, in most cases, I'm going to say, yeah, um, why not? Um, now, you don't earn a huge amount of money from YouTube videos. And, and again, we'll talk about monetization in another video. Um, but I'm going to select off for now, um, just because I'm just showing you. You can reach a broader audience by adding subtitles to your video. So again, someone like me who has a real strong Glaswegian accent, you may want to consider subtitles because you get so many people going, I don't know what that guy's talking about. What's he saying? So you can add subtitles on there. You can add an end screen and you can add cards to your video. Now, end screen. Um, doo -doo -doo. I can import it from a video. Let me grab this one. So I can grab the end screen from a previous video that my person has done. Now basically, um, adding an end screen, you can have subscribe, you can, you know, do all of these kind of different things. What would you want to have on an end screen? Some kind of call to action, something uh, that's going to maybe put people onto your most recent uploaded videos or whatever. You're trying to retain people on the channel. So you can put that, um, whatever you like, on your end screen. And adding cards, um, we can add different cards with a custom message. So you can see the card up there on the top right hand side, Black Friday SEO deals. I could change that to say whatever I want. Um, you can put a custom message under that by my, oh, by my deals and a teaser text. So again, you can add different cards. That's a video card. You can add a playlist card, a channel card or indeed a link somewhere else um, so you're allowed to link to other places as i said earlier in the, the, the description 
You don't want to lead people off the platform utilizing the description. There is the ability to link using a card if you want to um, try and utilize the options that YouTube give you. Once you upload, it will go through and check uh, for copyright and all that kind of stuff. Um, and then you click next and then you've got your visibility. Now you can upload that so that people can privately watch the video. You can have it unlisted if you just want to to send the link out to people. Um, everyone can find your video, but only members can watch it if you're trying to get people to be members on your YouTube channel. And of course, public. Um, now that is something that you probably want to do at the start. You're trying to build an audience, so do you want to have videos in a restricted area, like a membership area? Probably not, uh, whilst you're building up that audience. So once you do all of that, you click publish and boom, your video goes live on YouTube. Now, that's how simple and easy it is. That's the different options you've got available. There's not a huge amount of options available to you but try and utilize everything you possibly can to add your call to action, to add a link using the cards, try not spam the description with stuff, just try and keep that describing the video and not leading people off the platform. So that's the basic on-page for a YouTube video.